right. On this episode of Final Fantasy XII, we might have a very special guest. Let's see. Provided he's not, like, blackout drunk on his birthday. <laughs> and, well... I mean, that's... I would <laughs> it's believe... It's a possibility. Or hope, well, yeah, as long as he's not blackout. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's good and drunk, but, like, with friends, then that'd be cool. <laughs> or if he's alone... <laughs> and blackout drunk. <laughs> we'll have to call 911. I don't, I don't know how to call 911 for someone in another state. The so... Hopefully, the comments for this ep or the description of this episode isn't me describing the fallout <laughs> of our friend Brian's birthday. Be that as it may, I have no intention of being bridled, So I, I see how his collar comes together. He's got like the strap on this side and the buckle on the left. I fail to see its actual purpose. It's like if you were to bring it together, it'd still be super wide and out here, and it doesn't seem like it would actually accomplish anything. I don't think... The clothes... The clothes in Final the Fantasy... After... The they're just the pointless, except for just accentuating butts and, and waistlines. I like... Now. What is Fran's shoulder say, bits? They're like the shoulder sleeves? I think they are just... I, I think it's like a shawl, almost. But just form-fitting. And yeah, it goes into a sleeve instead of just being like draped. And it's like, because she has to have those fucking forearms free or else... You know, yeah. Like, she's got to have that mobility, so she can't have like cloth over the elbow. But she wants to keep her, 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 her biceps warm. Warm through the night. The Lusu mines are huge. They're gigantic, and you come here again and again for multiple side quests. And every time you come back, you're like, how much more of this mine is there? <laughs> Holy shit. But right now, we just come for one little bit. I like this uh, new this character and their androgyny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're a they're a really good character, actually. It's Nephesite. Cooler than Vaughn. Much cooler than Vaughn. They've got this. Um, I struggle to think of what that uh, emblem on their their necklace even is. I mean, it appears to be like two snakes intertwined. But I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. This party just so this keeps getting like prettier and prettier. And so it's, pretty. It's yeah, helping. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but it's helping to like balance out how dumb Vaughn is making it. Well, because Vaughn is so dumb, he drags the whole average catastrophically down. So you need like two sex gods, uh, um, tortured soldier, uh, Lord Fauntleroy. What do you know about the Dracula Laboratories? It's like when you have a. You're making soup, and you're like, oh man, I put too much salt in this soup. Now it tastes like shit. I yeah. gotta keep adding more good soup ingredients to oh, make yeah, it taste yeah, like yeah. soup again. So you ha you have to just make more soup around the salt. What is this weapon? <laughs> what? Probably. Pro probably the weapon that should have supplanted the Buster Sword as the most obnoxious weapon in Final Fantasy, but somehow did not. I'm just trying to picture how that how it actually doesn't how. Imagine how that would feel to hold on to it, with like, like that spinning. You know how uh -huh. shit gets when it spins. It's like oh, yeah, weird, yeah. like gyroscope well, action. It's just... Yeah, it's generating all that force. I'm trying okay, because it's spinning around. And it's spinning in one direction, so I'm so assuming it would... it would be forcing itself like to one way or the other, so yeah. you'd have to compensate for that the whole time. Like, if you let go of it, I feel like the handle would just start yeah. slapping you in the dick over You know what it'd be like? Have you ever used one of those big floor polishers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it'd yeah, be yeah. like that. Like, you have to fight it, kind of, and guide it around, or else you... it's just gonna... it's Because it spins yeah. right, so it's just gonna fucking shoot to the right if you don't. And it's just gonna... The handle's just gonna, like, start slapping you in the yeah. dick. <laughs> so you can't move. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> So those guys, they're actually optional bosses that you fight toward the end of the game. Right now, we're not strong enough, so we just run away like heroes. <laughs> it's fun to run away in four times speed. Fucking bats. Yeah, fucking baddies. I wish instead of fleeing, it was a more like a insulting thing it was saying. It was just like running away like back babies. Backing down. Yeah. <laughs> Backing down. Peeing. Backing down. <laughs> peeing, and then you're like, Aww. oh man, they are all peeing. Oh, even. <laughs> they have to, like, except Fran. She's, yeah, she's no, 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 she's fine. 
So like, I could I could have taken them out. Yeah, and much more running party about with Bunga at my heels, and I'm apt to give They'd up too Skyrim altogether. Yeah, and Fran stands like a real badass too. Yeah, she does. Like she's just ready to beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> It's like I want to say Fran's my favorite, but then I want to say Valthier's my favorite. You need them both. You need them both because you can't you can't live without one or the other. Oh, hey, Penella. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> There's like three judges down there. Hey, it's Penella. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Fran just yeah. grabs Van by his hair and rips him down. Like, the he starts to stand out, and then Fran does one of the sweet wrestling moves where she, like, jumps up and wraps her legs around his head, then spins oh, yeah. around his torso, and then somehow body slams him off back behind the pillar while moving herself there as well. <laughs> he just goes flying. <laughs> yeah. Come, you're going to be my lady friend now. Thank you, Penelo. Of course. What's Penelo doing? At least Penelo is cool as a cucumber. Like, as far yeah. as, uh, you know, uh, um, maidens in distress, yeah. air quotes go, she's just playing along with it. Fawn's like, what's Penelo doing? And yeah. Valkyrie's like, about to make this soup a little bit tastier. <laughs> Am I right? And then he fist bumps Fran, and he's like, what the fuck are you talking about, Valkyrie? <laughs> they do the fist bump, like, explosion gesture, <laughs> yeah. like... <laughs> That'd be too cool. To organizations opposing the empire, we'll start there. Can give that dude a call. Gonna call that Brian. Brian, throw back a bottle of Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw back a bottle of Brian. Uh, this is gonna be the best or the worst episode, <laughs> and we had some bad and some good ones. Compromised. Hey, hey, Brian. We can't see you. Hey, it's both of us. Yeah, it's both of us. Brian's in on the LP now. Yeah, Brian, we're playing Final Fantasy XII, the 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 Soviet age. It's not the it's the Zodiac age. The Zodiac age. Brian, give us your hot takes on. Uh, oh, and on this Final is the best Fantasy part, 12. Brian. This is the best part of Final Fantasy XII. You run around town, yelling like an asshole, and then you have to get people to notice you. Can you can you hear us? Son of a bitch. <laughs> What do you think? <sighs> Brian. That certainly qualifies as a clamor. Hey, hey. All right, Vaughn. Get to it. For the good. Are you there? Oh, and the more people around to witness your This is actually a good moment to do this, because this moment <laughs> is stupid as hell. Quiz, it's up to you. Brian. We'll be waiting here if you need us. <clears throat> Brian, you're outside and you're made of like eight pixels. Yeah, Brian, you're not really like allowing me to use the full you know, awesome screen that my new phone has by having bad internet. And so, so let me explain to Brian, you, and the audience what you do in this moment. You run around and you hit square, and you have to hit square near the citizens of uh, Bujerba. And if they if they pay any attention to you, your notoriety goes up, and you have to get your notoriety meter up to one hundred percent. If you get, you seem to get like combo bonuses, and so if you're able to. Uh, get multiple people to notice you at once, you get a higher uh, notoriety rating than if you had notified those people one at a time. Um, this part sucks because if you say, if you testify in front of the wrong people, you oh, hey. get, yeah. So this part sucks because if you testify, if you testify in front of the wrong people, your notoriety will just tank. Like this woman, it was up to like 31% and then it just goes down. Okay, so, it's not there. So Brian... We're playing Final Fantasy XII. We're recording right now. See the microphone? Say hi to the people right, at home. Boss lives. Hey, what's going on, people at home? <laughs> hey, especially you, David. How you doing? <laughs> oh, David doesn't watch this. Yeah, David doesn't give a shit about no, this. No, no, no. Nobody watches this. No, nobody watches this. They watched our seven playthrough, because of course people watch Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> like, nobody you know, watches this. Like, you know how nobody listened to our podcast? Well, nobody watches our channel, so... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
Did you say rifle man? <laughs> oh, you putting something? You got an animation ready to go? Nice. Hey, Brian, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Brian. Brian, throw back a ball to Brian. <laughs> yeah, I'm making that joke twice. <laughs> Are you, <laughs> are you gonna throw back a bottle of Brian? Agents masquerading as guides hide out of the back of a tavern. You know, like Mambo number five, throw back a bottle of beer. Mambo number five, throw back a bottle of beer. Slip cat riot. throw back a bottle of beer. you know whatever it is. I forgot what it is. Were those was that the is that Smash Mouth? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's Smash Mouth. And they had that song, Zoot Zoot Riot. Smash Mouth. Zoot Zoot Brian. Brian! Throwback bottle of Brian. Brian! We're not gonna stop making this joke to strap in, motherfuckers. So, Brian, do you have any experience with the uh, Final Fantasy XII? No. It's a good game. It's a good game and it's horny as hell. I No, horny. Games it sounded fucking stupid. <laughs> no, well, you're wrong, but no, I said horny, not Am boring. Oh, it's horny? It's horny as hell, yeah. Uh, horny as hell, got it. So what do you do? Well, no, they're mostly adults. They're mostly hot, sexy adults, so you don't feel weird about it. Oh, yeah, you can feel weird about it if you want. If it, that's what you know. If if finding adults attractive makes you feel weird. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm what it sorry. Is. <laughs> so what you doing for your birthday, Brian? It's just, well, I'm just drinking, uh, and um, Jeff's coming over, so I'm gonna hang out with him. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. So you fear Yeah. Jeff. How? Yeah. So that's that's that. That couch looks really comfortable. Listen to me. How am I, what you drinking? Celebration IPA, it's from, uh, what's it called, Sierra Nevada, it's pretty good. Oh, and what an appropriate title for a beer to be drinking on this glorious day. I owe. Because I give you my word. It turns out that I share a birthday with Pablo Escobar. Nice. I share, oh, Pablo Escobar. Isn't that the other name that I was trying to think of, of the guy who seems like Mambo number five? Yeah, 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 so that's what that was. Yay. Everything accidentally comes full circle. Yeah, Pablo Escobar threw back a bottle of Brian. Yeah, he was the dreadful that uh, ended up uh, making like, uh, I think it was around 21 billion dollars, like, a year? Something like that. And he had a plane that came to the city. Oh, no, well. Sent all of his cash to him. Okay, so you're thinking, okay, you're thinking of the drug lord, that's right. Uh, what is that guy's name? I can't, for the life of me, remember what that guy's name was. Pablo number five. Uh. Yeah, but he, he was like, uh, I remember they had that thing where it was just like, and then you got a Mickey, and a Penny, 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 and a little bit of Jessica in my mm -hmm. line. But, but it was about the Disney characters. Uh, those, those... <laughs> And then he said, those uh, anime too. babes make you think the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, that's... I don't think he said that, but, you know... Well, Sir Bosch right. von Ronsenberg. <laughs> 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 it was not very long ago that I announced you had been... I bet this is going to sound really good. This is going to sound great. It's a good like thing no one's watching. Oh, yeah, it's going to be wonderful. So and then I just... a really big surprise for me. I didn't think that was going to be all this thing, but... Well, 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 here you are. Well, Brian, we were hoping to get you in on the year of Final Fantasy at some point, so here you are. Here, here it is. Yeah. So, uh... Brian is going to be in town on the 16th? Yeah, I'll be in town on the 16th. How long are you going to be in town for? She must be very important. Um, well... I don't know. I think probably like maybe like two days or something. Just you understand that my position. Because I have to get a job. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, that's important. Uh, I got to get a job before the 16th. Lord Lasseter. And uh, yeah, I gotta ask them for time off too. We'll see what happens. So yes, I'm available to work, but. <laughs> well, they usually ask that. Yeah, and they're like, hey, you know. Out. 
They're like, what's what is it like a fa- weeks in advance they're gonna be like what is it is it like a family thing or getting married and you're like no i gotta go see steel panther in seattle <laughs> he's my dad the lead singer is my dad my dad is steel panther that's what i'll do uh my dad is steel panther so i was thinking of going to that with you but then i realized there's a band coming to town that i want to see so i might not oh. yeah there's this band called the bell rays yeah, so, but we should probably try to hang out afterwards or the day after or whatever else. Yeah, we should probably hang out the day, uh, the day, well, I mean, we could probably hang out that the night of, yeah. like, afterwards. Oh, totally. Like, get some fucking pizza? Yeah, some real Brooklyn pizza. I don't know how long they're going to play for, but... Oh man, and there's a real or there's that real Brooklyn pizza just down the street from the Monticello. Oh man, yeah, there's so much yeah. real fucking pizza. Yeah, if you walk in there and say you want to dip your balls in it, they go, Ay! and then they give you a pizza. And they they like yeah, and it's hot, so you fucking <laughs> you know you better know what you're getting yourself into. No boy. Sorry, you're talking to a microphone most of the time and not us, but you know. Yeah, I was thinking that same thing. I was like, oh, what am I going to do today? I'm going to hang out with Kurt and Ricky for a little bit. And uh, then I guess it turned into me just talking to a microphone and a computer screen. Yeah, because you're, you're on the LP, man. You gotta... And looking at a game you hate. <laughs> look at that guy. Look at that Look at that dude. Happy birthday, Brian. What about that dude? Cool hair, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, happy birthday, Brian. Here's a game you hate. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, uh, so later, um, you're gonna be hanging out with Jeff and drinking more, uh, I don't know, we might give you a call later on, too, or something, or, you know. Yeah. Now, FYI, Dr. Sid. that's what's gonna happen, and Jeff should be here in probably about ooh, 20 minutes or something, so. Oh man, that gives you like yeah. five minutes of, what are you gonna do? Yeah. What are you, what are you gonna do? Nobody's <laughs> Doesn't take long. <laughs> what are you gonna do for the other four minutes? <laughs> oh, I, uh, <laughs> whoa! 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 Blowing out that microphone! <laughs> God damn. Uh, uh. Alright, dude. Well, thanks for joining us on this episode of uh, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac 12. Yeah. Uh, eh, I mean, we can give you a call a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to, like, sit here and talk to a microphone and. And watch a game you don't like. See, check this out, Brian. Look, look at these characters. See how, see how cool and sexy they are. I mean, that's a sexy airship, but it's just, yeah, it's sexy as hell. It's sexy. Yeah. There's this rabbit. Yeah. What's that spike coming off her butt? What's that all about? <laughs> that's where she keeps her grapes. No, no, no. That's just where she keeps her grapes. <laughs> It, no, no, no. She's got little bunny rabbit what? No, 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 no. Her, 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 her little, her little fruits. When she needs quick energy, she's hypoglycemic. For those that the secret eating. Yeah. You know. So she, and she releases it by farting. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> her. Oh, here's another sexy character. She's totally got boobs. But they're not like, you know, watermelons. Majesty. Yeah. Oh, and she slapped that guy? That's so sexy. You're supposed to be dead. And then he's like... And then he looks at her after he sla- gets slapped and is like... Hmm. forgotten your manners? He's wearing like the fucking Windows logo on his chest. Or yeah, like he is. Something designed by Google. Princess? <laughs> Material design. See, look, there's bondage and shit. Well, in those cases, like, I didn't mean to kill your dad, but it was my secret twin brother who did it. 
I didn't mean to have sex with your dad, but it was my secret brother who did it. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the clothing in this is, yeah, making me think it's designed to hold grapes. Like Ash's shoulder bits. <laughs> yeah. That's for holding grapes. So they, they live in the desert, and as we've seen from Hedonism Bot, people who live in the desert like to eat grapes. He bade me give well, what else are you going to get out there that supplies moisture as well as meat? Exactly, so just keep grapes everywhere. Yeah, you know what I was doing for a while in the summertime? I'd eat nothing but water. Yeah, Wait. that's a bad idea, yeah, but <laughs> did you poop a lot? I did poop a lot. Uh, did you know that fruit makes you go to the bathroom quite a bit? I did, actually, yeah, that's Nutrition 101. Don't interrupt. It's like half the reason why. What? And she, uh, we all were having breakfast, and oh, she put out a bowl of uh, fruit, and then she said, "You guys better eat this." And we said, "Why?" And then she said, "Because it helps you shit." And uh, so she was up to her ears in anger that day. But you know, anyway, that's what happened when I went and saw my grandma. <laughs> oh yeah, grandma. Yeah, grandmothers are a thing. My grandma would I like... My grandma made me a really good egg. And, uh, <laughs> well, it was the best egg I ever had. It was, uh, pink all the way around it. And I thought, eggs aren't supposed to be pink. But then I ate it, and boy, howdy, was it a good egg. Grandma's egg. Pink around the edges, just like I like it. What kind of egg was this? <laughs> is this like some Courage the Cowardly Dog egg? You guys know what I'm talking about? That episode where there's like the eggs and they're all weird color when you, the old guy eats it, and I don't know. That show was <laughs> fucked up. Uh, that show's great, but uh, yeah, no, I have no idea. They were like these natural eggs or something, and I asked her if she, she could make me another one exactly like the one that she gave me, and she was like, I don't know, maybe. She's she tried making it, and it just was not the same fucking egg. She's was, like, was else what if she was like, what egg? I never made you an egg. What did you eat? Oh, my God. And then I teleported Spooky back to pasta. the Ooh. and it turns out that I was just on the hangman's loose this whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, there goes Fran kicking ass of her and really long legs. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. So you guys hanging out in Ricky's room? Yeah. This is where this is Hold where on. We're, we're, we're wrapping up this episode in 20 seconds. Uh, this I'll need to have Ricky masturbate sometimes. Have kept <laughs> oh, <laughs> literally every day. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> this is where Ricky drinks sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, you 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 sweet summer child. <laughs> <laughs>